When it comes to video game adaptations, my expectations are quite low. I've seen a pattern of many video game adaptation attempts where they just miss the mark they or they completely butcher the source material uh, to the point where it's just downright insulting. But there, I will say there has been great examples of video game adaptations in recent years. The Last of Us uh, live action series, the Castlevania animated series, um, League of Legends Arcane on Netflix. So it is slowly getting better, but that doesn't mean I uh, still, that doesn't mean I'm gonna always give it the benefit of the doubt. So when two years ago, Netflix announced that they were adapting Bioshock into a movie. It definitely raised some eyebrows. For me especially, um, I look at Bioshock as this award-winning, revolutionary video game that came out in 2007. Uh, still to this day, it's uh, talked about so much. Uh, it's There's so, much in, so many other projects that came out after that game were heavily inspired by Bioshock, and to this day, it's still very well-beloved. So, you can imagine my expectations now when Netflix is saying, oh, uh, we're working on a Bioshock movie. And I'm like, okay, this better be good. You better do it right. You better make sure you put the you put the right people and the right money into it. Only to find out we got some interesting news. Not the best kind. But apparently Netflix is going to continue working on the Bioshock movie. But recent changes will see the project get scaled back. What does that mean? Well, during a panel at San Diego Comic-Con 2024, producer Roy Lee provided an update explaining that the adaptation has been reconfigured <laughs> uh, following some leadership changes. He mentioned that the film will now be a more personal take influenced by budget cuts at Netflix. And that is when I say yikes. It's a uh, it's a shame to hear that kind of uh, that kind of news, because it implies a pretty negative connotation to this to the production of this movie. Um, when you think Bioshock, you think of its uh, massively ambitious world, Rapture and the city of Columbia, and it to capture those those types of worlds into the silver screen requires. I, I think it requires a, a, a huge undertaking. And a, definitely the kind of budget that would, uh, the, the, definitely the kind of budget that requires to capture the grandiose of cities like Rapture. Um, so when they say that there's budget cuts, it means that they're going to do a lot of creative compromise. Where? Who knows? When they say scaled back, exactly on what? Who knows? Um, and despite these changes, still details about the Bioshock movie's plot are still on the wraps. It's unclear how the film would have differed before these adjustments. And initially, the, adapt the, the adaptation promised to stay true to the game. So now with this scaled back budget, you start to wonder, can they really pull it off? And what exactly are they saying when, when he implies it's gonna be a more personal take? Okay. Um, all I can say is that if I had any, any, if my expectation was low, it's now lower. This is, <laughs> this is the state of something like this. Um, but, uh, only time will tell. I'm, I'm glad that at least, uh, if the Bioshock movie doesn't work out, at least take two publisher, take two, uh, interactive is working on that Bioshock four sequel. Uh, there's apparently been a leak for it recently. Uh, just one image. Not much to go by, but uh, apparently people are saying that Bioshock 4 might be set in Antarctica. Who knows? Again, these are not official statements or official pieces of information we can rely on. All we know is that that game is being developed. I'm a huge Bioshock fan. I love those games. I'm glad to see it kind of come back, have that resurgence um, in a form of a, a full-blown sequel. But that movie from Netflix... It could be a hit or a miss. And it's a shame that it's just bad timing, I guess, because uh, live, stream, uh, live streaming services out there are kind of scaling back with their uh, with their budgets. Like Apple TV Plus is going to kind of reduce spending on producing new movies and shows. And I think it's just purely because they're not bringing in the subscribers and the viewership that they were anticipating. And uh, it's just 
and, and another ironic thing is that Netflix uh, has been known to green link, green light some major blockbuster movies uh, at the cost of two hundred million dollars, just you know, with the flick of their hand. And so when you get something like this, Bioshock, a very profound and beloved franchise, and you hear that it's getting, it's getting a not the best treatment that it needs. Um, yeah, it's a bit concerning. So only time will tell how this movie is going to shape up and if it's even going to please the, the most casual fan, let alone the real hardcore fans of Bioshock out there. So let's take a short break and we'll be right back covering more news from the world of entertainment right here on The Evening Buzz. Stay tuned. If you liked this episode of The Evening Buzz, drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.